Hey everybody, how you doing tonight? I'm doing good. I'm sitting here with the Smith & Wesson M&P 15 Sport. Uh, I'm sure a lot of you have seen this gun. It's an AR-15 chambered in 5.56. Um, yeah, so M&P 15 Sport. I think and correct me if I'm wrong, but I think the sport comes from the fact that it lacks a few uh, features that you might expect in a military type model, such as the forward assist. You'll notice that's not there at all. Uh, and the dust cover, also not there at all. But uh, frankly, that's just fine with me. I'm not planning on crawling around in the sand with it anytime soon. And that. Uh, Heck, if anything, that cuts down on the weight a little bit, so that's good. I really, really love this gun. Uh, this is the Mo Edition. So it came with this adjustable six-point telescopic uh, stock. Came with this hand grip, or this forward, forward guard, forward grip, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I added this... Uh, pistol grip, which is the Mo Plus, matches the color and it's it's kind of uh, rubbery in texture, which is kind of nice. I also added this Magwell slash magazine grip. Uh, this is made by I think Mako this is the company that makes it, and it just mounts right on there, um, and it really makes it easy to get a magazine in there. And it also, this is the way I like to hold it. I like to have the stock out and I like to hold it right there. Real tight. That's just how I like to do it. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's a, it's pretty standard AR-15. It is made by Smith & Wesson, so it's pretty high quality. Uh, the barrel on this, a lot of people really love the barrel. It's finished in melanite. And that's inside and out. And I was reading that melanite is apparently harder than chrome. So it's a melanite lined barrel, which is even harder than a, a chrome barrel. It has a real thick barrel on it. Um, not like a little pencil barrel. The sights are on the backs an emboss, flip up, ghost string or peep sight. Front, standard gas block post uh, sight. And yeah, I also added this grip pod. And I don't think it's a real grip pod. It's probably a knockoff, but uh, I like it. Push a button, bipod comes out. I added this to the grip pod, which is just the, it's called, the brand is Tough One. It's just a slip on, little rubber sleeve. Gives you some extra grip there and the coloring matches real good. And it also has this little Picatinny rail for mounting a flashlight or something like that. Uh, magazine of choice. That was odd. I can pop the magazine out. Bolt went forward. Huh. I'll have to look into that. Uh, magazine of choice is the uh, P Mags by Magpul with the windows. And I just I just dig this gun. I mean, it's a blast to shoot. If you've ever shot an AR-15, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Uh, it's very accurate. The iron sights on this thing are... Uh, they're crazy accurate. It's just really easy to hit what you're shooting at. Really, really easy. And, uh, yeah. Let's see. I think in, in total I probably have, I don't know, at least a thousand bucks into this gun with all the upgrades. All the extra parts. Uh, I also have a scope slash red dot sight set up that I mount on here from time to time. I'm gonna do a separate video on that because it, uh, you well, you'll see. It deserves its own video. But uh, yeah, you just put this down and then I can put a scope right on there. And the 5.56 five, or the 223 round is definitely, definitely scope worthy. It's a powerful round. Uh, it gets out there. So I have an AK-47 as well, and I, I like the AR-15 better. Uh, 
uh, it's, to me it's more accurate, there's less recoil. You do have, when you're, you got your ear right here and you're shooting, you can feel the, the buffer and you can hear the spring going back and forth in the buffer tube. That's a little weird to hear like a spring going off. But uh, other than that, I like it much better than like an AK-47. I know that's the old age old uh, discussion, right? AR versus AK. Uh, I think I prefer the AR. Anyway, that is the Smith & Wesson M&P 15 Sport. I'd highly recommend it if you're in the market for an AR-15. And as always, have a good night. And uh, yeah.